Make sure to check out my channel for more videos just like this. What is going on people? It's your boy Mr. Bucketlist and here we are today in the beautiful area of Georgetown, the Grand Cayman Islands. Now before we get started, I have a quick request. If you all could please help this channel continue to grow as it's been impacted by the coronavirus, a simple like, share, and subscribe would be great. Thank you for your help in advance. Now here's a quick summary for the video for any newcomers. Now, if you're coming to the Cayman Islands via a cruise ship, this is considered a tender port. So that does mean you have to ride a little boat. Basically, it's about a five minute ride, so it's not that long at all, to the actual island itself. Um, and now with that said, you get some beautiful views of the ship. So, I mean, if you wanna take ship pictures of the ship, this is the best way to do it. But I have a tip for you. Reserve your tender tickets as soon as possible. Um, now, you can easily do that from a cell phone app, through the guest services desk, however you want to do it, but make sure you do it as soon as you can. Now with that said, for this particular excursion, I actually decided to do things basically through a third party, through a website. So instead of using the ship, and that's why I said it's so urgent, it's important to book those tender tickets. Um, the reason why I did use the website was one, it was cheaper, and two, there was a lot more options. And so I want to give you all a review of my experience doing it through a third party. Now this main area is where everyone's going to meet up with. So I mean, whether you have an excursion through the ship or not, it's going to meet in this area. And while we're here, I do have a tip. Um, there is free Wi-Fi in the main plaza, this area right here at the coffee shop. So if you see it's going to be on the second floor, you can't miss it. But go there if you need to get on some Wi-Fi. And then similar to other excursions, this one does have a bus ride as well. And then just to mention, so the third part party site that I use for this is called Short Excursion Group. Um, like I said, they had a lot of options. And this particular company that I went through was called Captain Brian's Tours, I believe. And this was Captain Brian, the guy that was driving the bus. Now, once you make it there, you get on this nice, fairly large ship. And pretty much, I mean, it's a nice, smooth ride. The ride itself to get to the ship was about 15 minutes. And then the boat ride to actually get to where you're going, I believe, was about 30 minutes. So, I mean, it's pretty spread out here and there. Um, but like I said, it has three different stops. So, it's definitely well worth it. And then while we're cruising, just look how blue this water is. I mean, this is literally the typical water in the Cayman Islands. It's just amazing. Now let's get to our first adventure. Now, first up we have snorkeling. Um, now for me, for example, I've done snorkeling so many different times. And this one, I mean, it wasn't the best snorkeling I've ever done, but at the same time, it wasn't bad either. It was just, it was kind of in the middle. I mean, the water was beautiful, which made it a lot better, but it wasn't that many fish around. And there was like maybe one or two stingrays floating here and there. It just wasn't that much going on, even though they did give us feed and stuff like that to draw fishes in, but it just wasn't like other experiences I've seen. And I'll give you all an example of something I did at Discovery Cove. Check it out. Tip, bring a waterproof camera. So after you're done snorkeling, you head back up to the ship and we head to our next spot, which is gonna be Stingray City. As you can see, the water is still nice and perfect. But if you take a cl closer look, I mean, look at all these different ships. Um, that's one thing I want you all to notice about Stingray City. This is like the main tourist spot. This is where a lot of the cruise ships take their passengers on little third party excursions and stuff like that. It's going to be a lot of people here. So warning, this place is extremely crowded. Um, now, as far as Stingray City, so it was pretty cool. Um, like Just like with snorkeling, I've done stingrays before as well, so it wasn't nothing new to me. Um, but the actual atmosphere itself was pretty cool. Um, one thing I'm not used to is someone actually interacting with the stingrays like this. Um, so it was actually pretty different to see stuff like this, but it was, it was cool. Oh, you have a full head, you look like 
And then I do want to give a quick shout out to the guy that took these pictures right here. It's the guy that was in that camouflage gear. He basically, they charged $20 for a picture package, and for whatever reason, I lost some of my cash. I guess it, I don't know what happened to it, but I don't, only had $12, and he was still allowed me to actually get my pictures, so it was actually really nice of him. Thank you. Now let's head to our last stop, which is Starfish Point, or Starfish Beach. Now this one right here is a secluded island. We didn't spend that much time at it, but it was actually pretty cool. Um, so basically the, the, the law, the rule is you can't take the actual starfish out the water, but you can't actually interact with them. Um, so that's what we pretty much did. Now for each stop, the first stop was about, I think 30, 45 minutes. The second stop was about 30 minutes and this one was about 15 to 20. So I mean, like I said, they were all pretty paced out and you got a good amount of time for each of them. And that was pretty much it. So now it's time for the summary and the rating. And then as far as my rating, this is definitely a must do. Again, I want to thank you all for watching these videos. My next video I have coming up is going to be in Cosmo, Mexico, doing the Mayan Ruins tour. And then I have, like I said, the full ship review, my honest solo cruising review, and a lot more. So again, I thank you all for watching the video. Thank you for sharing and liking if you feel like you need to do so. Thank you so much. It's all hanging in there together during this corona crisis. Until then, I'll see you next time. Peace.